Hello, this is Morgan Freeman. Yes, that Morgan Freeman. And today we're doing a tutorial on analyzing Medicare payment data in Tableau. So the first thing that you want to do is load the data. And this data is in Excel format. So open up Tableau. If you're not in the connect the data screen, you can get that you can get to the data screen by clicking this data icon or the connected data link that you saw before to get to the connected data screen. So the file is Microsoft Excel and we click on Excel. Here is the file, the top 100 DRGs with a little bit of extra hospital info added that I added to it. Open it. It's going to, Tableau is going to ask us if it's single table, multiple tables. This is just going to be a single table, one worksheet. And the first row has field names in it. So I'll say OK. And the last thing Tableau wants to know is whether or not we want Tableau to collect li connect live to this data source or import all of the data. So connecting live means leave the data where it is, whether it's in a spreadsheet or a database somewhere, and just use what you need when you need it. Um, or import all the, all the data, where it would suck all the data from the data source, whether it's a database or Microsoft Excel, into Tableau. Presumably, importing all the data is faster, um, but connecting data is more efficient in the sense that, that you don't have a duplicate set of your data uh, sitting around. Let's go with Connect Live because we, we don't want to wait around forever for anal an analyses to happen, and uh, the data is just not that big. All right, so now we're going to create our first little report uh, or worksheet. And what we want to do is we want to look at the charge variance by DRG. We just want a simple table, uh, charge variance by DRG. So the first thing that we're going to do is we know we want rows of DRGs. So we're going to take the DRG definition over here drag it over to the rows section or you can drag it right up here into this rows section, either one. I'll just put it right there. And then across the top we want column names if we want a table of values. So we're going to take measure names and put it right in the columns. Now what we need is measures, or the measure values. So we're going to grab measure values and this is going to this is going to put all of the measure um, all of the measures into my table so we can either grab it here and put it in detail or we can take it here and put it right in the middle of our chart oh there you go so you have a bunch of measure values here that got sucked into this table here are the DRG definition names. Let me see if I can spread it out a little bit so we can read more of them. All right, so the first thing I want to point out is that the aggregate function, the default aggregate function in Tableau is sum. And so we'll click on this little drop down and see how it has measure sum as selected. We don't want the sum of all of the cover charges. We want the average, so we're going to select average. And watch, it's going to change the values pretty dramatically, obviously, because it's going from sum to average. And here, we will do, do the same thing. Change it to average instead of sum. And the same thing to total payments. We want average total payments instead of the sum of the total payments. Now, it pulled in latitude and longitude in here. We don't need those at all. So we're just going to remove them. Remove, remove. Okay, so now let's spread these out so it's a li little bit easier to look at. And let's change the name of this to DRG summary stats. Okay, so we still don't have the variance and we want to look at the variance and so let's go back here and drag in average covered charges back in here again 
and instead of changing sum to average, we're going to change it to the variance. So this last column now, over here, is the variance value. And we can be done with this sheet. Pretty cool, huh? I'll show you a trick before we go. You can group items that are listed here. Let me spread this out so we can get a better view. Let's say we, we didn't want to see all of the detail for these intracranial hemorrhage DRGs, and we just assumed that they all three of them were the very similar, and we wanted to, instead of seeing 100, we wanted to see 50, so we wanted to group these. You can select group, and it'll roll them all up into one element, which can be pretty handy. Now you got to be careful because I, you, when you do a data analysis, if you make the assumption that the, the, all three of these things belong in the same group, you're going to miss some of the um, the detail that is there and that's caused by the differences between these groups. So it could be the variance is explained by the difference between COPD DRGs with complications and with major complications and without. And by rolling them all the complications up together with no complications, we could be be missing a significant kind of predictor of variance. So to create another sheet, we will click on another tab. So the next sheet we want to do is we want to look at the, um, let's say we want to look at, we want to have a pie chart of, of uh, hmm, ownership. So we'll take ownership and drag it over here. We have government, federal, government, non-federal, for-profit, not-for-profit in our ownership. And the, the values we want to have is the number of, of records, or actually better yet, total discharges. We'll put that right in there. Drag it over. There you go. And it's sum. And you'll see that the charts over here are lit up. So we could look at a pie chart. And it looks pretty good. It looks like most of it are non-government, not-for-profit. We got a small portion of for-profit, and there's some non-federal government, state hospitals and local hospitals. So let's change this, the name of this sheet, to uh, ownership. Okay. Now, let's make a a map. This maps are cool. So we'll create a new sheet. And we'll call it map. And we'll want to see a map of the variance. Uh huh. So to get to a map, you need to start with a geographic dimension or a geographic measure. We can do it based on zip code. You can do it based on state. Um, we'll start with state. change it to a map. Okay, so now we have all the states represented here, but what we want to show up is we want to show up, we want average covered charges. We actually want the variance, but we'll start with average covered charges. We're going to grab it, grab it and drag it into the detail box right here. Actually, let's put it in the color box. There we go. So, and we want to change it from the sum to the variance. All right. So we have a, map, a nice little map of the US here with variance showed up. I want to see more of the lower 48. So what you can do is you can grab with your mouse the lower 48 and see, keep only or exclude. Let's keep only. Ah, that makes it bigger and easier to look at. Let me move this out of the way real quick. And so, you look at, for example, you have California has a high variance, and you have 
Me uh, Maryland, which has super low variance, and then everything in between. All right, so let's do something cool with a uh, dashboard. We have three things to put on our dashboard here. We have a map. Pretty cool, huh? We have ownership. Let's put it up here. And we have DRG summary statistics that we can put here if we can get them to drag out right. There we go. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is I want to go to this one. I don't want it taking up so much space, so we'll change it to floating. Ah, oh, look at that. And we'll move it out of the way, at least somewhat out of the way. not even out of the way, is it? Okay. So I also have, you can't see it, but I have my floating. Let's move it. getting there. Okay, so if you want to do something cool, you can make this, make these parts of this interactive in the sense that selecting government or non-federal will filter the results of the other one. So let's do that. You can click on it. Actually, that's not the right one. Click on this and say use as filter. And I actually want the legend to be a little bit closer so I can see it, what's going on with it. Okay, so now that that is a filter, you can go back to the original map, click on for profit and it changes the values to the for-profit values. See what I mean? Let me get this out of the way. And we can use this one as a filter as well. So we'll go here. Use as filter. our map. So if we wanted to see what DRG 192, it's one of the COPD DRGs, just look how just looking at that impacts the variance, doesn't seem to impact it very impact it very much. But something with a large variance, like this respiratory system one, which is probably with complications, it changes the map maybe a little bit more. And there you go. I hope this tutorial helps.